has her pay is back on baby. It's in the third stimulus package at $1,500 $1, if you were doing this uh, pandemic and had a less than $25,000 return. And we're 19 years of age, of course, as well. But how do you get hazard pay and what happened to essential workers under the 2020 hazard pay? And will that $10,000 of hazard pay from 2020 ever come back? The push is underway under fourth stimulus. In this throwback video, I go over hazard pay, which is now being pushed in the next fourth stimulus check package. Enjoy this overnight LA video explaining hazard pay, which could come up in the next couple of weeks as well. Two couples actually report that they make love while watching my videos. I guess that gives new meaning to frontline workers. Hey, <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is the, um, the Very Wide Love channel. <laughs> this is Afternoons LLA. I hope you're good and safe. Uh, our two hour programming block starts now. So, you know, get ready if you're going to last a whole long time with me this afternoon. It starts every day with a check, then goes to hazard pay, then FBUC, and finally rent. Um, and this one's about hazard pay for essential frontline workers. And boy, um, frontline is apparently what's happening with some couples watching my videos. It's incredible great news as a lot of stuff is changing across the country today. And what I've always emp em empowered you to understand is that hazard pay is paid on both a federal level, state level, and a uh, job place uh, situation. And what I want to remind you as we start hazard pay this afternoon is the following. When we look at hazard pay on a federal level, there's the federal bill, the HEROES Act. Then there is the Democratic proposals and the Republican proposals that are standalone, they're drafted by other people. Next, there's state versions of hazard pay. I'm beginning to some great ones in a second, really great news. And finally, there's ones that are in the workplace as well. So when you think about hazard pay, when you think about essential work and you think about what am I getting here? What do I qualify for? Don't just look to the Temple of Doom to open their doors and, and let the bats fly out. There's more than just one place that's paying your money. <laughs> it's as simple as that. First, the important thing to understand is that a lot of employers are paying hazard pay, whether it's Walmart or Amazon, um, whether it's a big box retailer or a smaller operation, a lot are paying it. Some are paying it just because, because they made a lot of money during this pandemic. Others are paying it because unions have really ramped up and ensure you get the money. And then others are just paying it because they value your services. So what you need to understand and think about is, does my place of work pay this type of money? So if you never have thought that maybe I'm qualified to receive this benefit, check around. First thing you need to know is the following. It's not called hazard pay when it's paid by the boss. They don't like the word hazard. <laughs> you wonder why? Uh, have you, hey, John, have you come to our hazardous place today? I need you to do some hazardous stuff for me, and I'll write you a check about our hazardous workplace. No, they're just not going to talk that way. They call it bonus. They call it bonus or um, hug a buddies, <laughs> you know, nice little cuddly terminology because they want to thank you for your service. They don't want to also set themselves up for you to sue them because it's a hazardous place. And a lot of businesses are doing it. Now, they're not paying you $10,000, but they are paying you a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousands of dollars. And so you need to check with your boss or your place of work of whether or not this qualifies. In the case of Walmart and Amazon, some of the paying them are on, on for people who even work temporary. Next, you need to look to your union. A lot of unions have really moved this issue. It's most especially important in places like grocery stores. If you look at the major grocery chains in the nation that are all unionized and have to deal with uh, labor unions and their request, they're all under the fire, under the gun currently to pay another round of hazard pay, aka bonuses. They did it back in the spring. They did when COVID-19 first hit. At the time, we 
saw the people. You, you saw those tweets. People decking one another to get a roll of toilet paper. People smashing each other's carts to get some uh, sanitizer. At that time, they were doing bonzo business, incredible business. So they wanted to pay you more money to work in an environment that was really, um, you know, like waiting for Star Wars tickets around the corner. It was that type of demand. Once the demand settled down, the workplace was just as hazardous, but they didn't think that it took value for them to pay you. They tied the determination of whether to pay you based upon the number of people in the store, not based upon how the working conditions were at the time. So as less people started coming to the stores in July and August, a lot of employees said, you know what? I'm not paying you bonuses, aka hazard pay, because things are back to normal. And they would actually use that terminology, but are they back to normal? No. The situation is still as hazardous. Is there less people in the store? Yes. And so what did it mean? They didn't want to bankroll it because they weren't making the type of incredible sums of money they were before. Now this is generally the case for in-store retailers, grocery stores. Unions are having big problems with grocery stores paying these bonuses. It's not so much the case with online retailers who are absolutely still doing incredible business. It's not generally the case um, for some of the home improvement stores as well. Next, beyond just the workplace, there's states that are paying hazard pay. And so you need to be on alert whether or not your state is paying hazard pay. When I say this, this is so incredibly important. When a state announces hazard pay, and I also include local, like cities or counties, it's just sort of announced. And if you don't know about it, then you don't know it was money for you to get. What I am and trying to empower you to know is that when a state pays hazard pay, or a local county or city pays out hazard pay, they do it because people applied to it because they announced it in a press release some day and some people heard about it and others didn't. So if you didn't know your city or county or state announced a hazard pay program, you're not going to get it. This is why you have to be ears and eyes. I always talk about having you be ears and eyes and look for things, whether it's eviction moratorium or rent aid or things like that, like how Kevin Lee found it for, for rent assistance in Texas, one of our my earlier OG great uh, viewers, for uh, hazard pay, same thing. Vermont, Vermont, news article minutes ago, they announced they're doing a new round of what they call stimulus, but hazard pay. Governor Phil Scott announced on Friday he's doing a um, new line, and it's going to be 40,000 uh, Vermonters uh, are still unemployed and business is still getting clobbered. So what is he going to do? The governor says the business economic determinants going forward will be to whether the state can increase capacity and use $10 million in federal funds to ramp up state marketing to make people, starting this week, thousands of frontline workers in nursing homes, clinics, public safety organizations are slated to receive $10 million in hazard pay benefits. After that, there's still another $18 million available. The state is still receiving applications. Okay, so if you're in Vermont and you were one of those people, you may not have even known to apply. I mean, as I sit here in L.A., I don't know if there's any hazard pay in L.A. I haven't heard it. But I, sometimes you don't hear these things until someone else tells you about it. Um, there's also $275 million on the way to over 90 hospitals, clinics, and long-term care facilities. What I'm trying to impart to you is not necessarily whether you're a nurse in Vermont to go get hazard pay. What I'm trying to say is this is an example of something that was announced, and you may not have known to apply if you had not looked it up. What you should be doing is you should be going on Google and typing in hazard pay plus the name of your state, let's say Montana, hazard pay plus Montana. Um, how about the city you live? Okay, if you're in Memphis, hazard pay plus Memphis, hazard, hazard pay plus Tennessee, hazard pay plus my county, and see if there's any results, and you may be shocked. Um, and these applications are not always open for a very long time. The Agency for Human Services, my, Secretary Mike Smith, says we're very successful in sustaining and, and propping up the health care system during these times of financial stress. This is helping reimburse these, them for money they spent a lost revenue during this time. Um, it'll also provide $16 million other house uh, funding. 
current recipients don't need to do anything else to receive benefits. So this is one place. How about another? Another one announced just today, minutes ago, is Roanoke. In the city of Roanoke, it's police, firefighters, emergency workers, and other city employees will receive extra benefits during the pandemic. How much will it be? A lot of money. <laughs> it's more than a stimulus check. Um, they unanimously approved giving public safety officials $2,000 per person in hazard pay. City staffers, $1,000 bonuses. We're awarding them our employees for their commitment and dedication during a difficult time, said Mayor Sherman Lee. Leah, it's important to let people know how much you appreciate them as much as you can. We're very appreciative for the work they've done. I mean, this is incredible. So as you're sitting there, you're like, wait a second. I, I didn't know if I get this. <laughs> I was just, you know, focusing on the Temple of Doom for the last week and the bats and, you know, the, the vampire that comes out and, you know, sings some hymns and sings a song, uh, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, <laughs> from the musical Evita. And I was just like, I wasn't paying attention to Hazard Pay. And then, you know, Mark Meadows sort of distracted me with his package and Steve Manusha. And I was like, oh, wait, there's Hazard Pay being done on a local level? Yes, I mean, here you go. You need to be focusing on your local level. And certainly when I told you to Google the word hazard pay, also do it for bonuses, because they often don't call it bon hazard pay. Um, here, this article, what did it call it? It called it <laughs> bonuses. It called it extra work money. It said... Um, essential workers. Uh, so 600 public safety workers will receive $3.50 per hour for every hour they worked during the pandemic from March 1st to June 30th. Does that sound familiar? That's how hazard pay generally works. You take January to a date and you times it by the number of hours up to a maximum of $2,000. Public safety employees will be eligible to up to $1,000 for extra pay. About 1,000 full-time employees on the job will receive $1,000 bonuses. Part-time will be eligible at 5,000 bonuses and they'll receive the money September 30th. Uh, and it's only going to cost the the, the city 2.5 billion 2.5 million ironically um you know this is where we go into uh shady news <laughs> um shady bickering news is that a lot of these states and cities have had money for you in their bank accounts for the first stimulus package for months and have not used it on you and now they're using it yeah, exactly. This is what Steve Mnuchin is talking about, what I've been talking about on this channel for weeks. Whether it's Andrew Cuomo, who just launched a rent program in the state of New York, what, like a week ago? For money he's had since May. Here we talk about a, a town of Roanoke. Well, where did they come up with the $2.5 It wasn't their money. They got it under the CARES Act. Uh, and it's just not clear why in August... Uh, they're agreeing to send you out money if you live in Roanoke that they've had since May and that you're going to receive it in September. I mean, this is sort of the contention that a lot of people are having that's really they're, they're a little bit upset with these cities and counties, that they've had these incredible sums of money. This is what Mnuchin says about the Temple of Doom. These states and counties and, and locals, as she often says, the Princess of Pettiness, have had this money since May and are not spending it. Thank God this one is finally spending it, finally. <laughs> Cowell, um, who's the city manager, says through 24-7 they continue to, to offer essential services for the citizens. This is our gratitude for their work they do, and the, uh, the important thing is to say thank you to the folks who are extremely changing. Councilman Michelle Davis said, um, you have worked tirelessly through this epidemic. I want to thank you and to know it's how you have been recognized. Of course, my question is, um, why didn't you recognize them when you first got the money? Now, I fully understand maybe that Roanoke's uh, choice to pay the money now in September was because the state was slow in getting them the money. But the bottom line is this funds um, is really a big issue. And I'm not going to make that in this video because it's, it's, it's a whole other video unto itself. But there's a whole track record of these states getting incredible sums of money on the CARES Act 1, as Steve Mnuchin said, and not using the money and the money sitting there. I've done some articles, I just saw some videos that have said where they claim they have the money and can't use it because of restrictions. But the bottom line is, if you need hazard pay, 
you can go get it. You can get it on a state level, you can get it on a local level, you can get it on a business level, the genre. Finally, the federal hazard pay. Let's recap. It is $10,000. $10,000 if you worked in a pandemic. January up to the present, it's calculated $13 an hour based upon the number of hours you work. So you take the number of hours you work, whether it's a part-time, full-time, furloughed, uh, take that number of hours times of time $13 an hour. That gets you the calculation. If you come up at an amount over $10,000 or $10,000 and you made less than two, uh, less than $100,000 in 2019, bam, you'll receive $10,000 under the HEROES Act. Uh, if you made a lot of money last year, if you made over $100,000, then you would be only eligible for $5,000 under the uh, for, of hazard pay. If you do the calculation and you're not at that threshold, then you would continue to uh, get benefits going forward at $13 an hour and get a lump sum for how far you are along in the calculation. Let's say it's $8,000, really great news. You can apply, the employer applies. Um, the nature of the essential workers has been detailed extensively on this channel almost every day. I went up through who are the essential workers. And hazard pay bill also provides workplace security to ensure that your place is safe going forward. As we start this new week, it's important to understand that when we talk about hazard pay, hazard pay and we talk about the progress the second thing was packaged through the senate you need to focus on things like the romney plan the romney plan is a senate hazard pay standalone bill for mitt romney that a lot of the viewers including me adore with the exception of the monetary amount we adore it because it requires the employers to apply it demands the employers to apply and pays the employers to apply and gets you the money for you really great news. Coming up next is FPUC and LWA some, with some really big developments. Stay tuned for that as well. Uh, do me two favors. First, subscribe to this channel. Our call to action is really to add 25,000 new followers in the next two weeks. I think we can do it uh, from last sat from last Sunday from yesterday. Last week was really just an incredible run. We did twenty five thousand in one week, really good. But I'm trying to add twenty five thousand in the next two weeks. That will bring us to a quarter million viewers. No one has ever done that in the history of YouTube. If you're new to this channel, two weeks ago this channel reached two hundred thousand subscribers in less than three and a half months. We reached that in about 111 days. No one in the history of YouTube has ever added, has ever drawn in 200,000 viewers to one channel. Actually, not 200,000 viewers, 200,000 subscribers to one channel in less than about three months and a week. Absolutely incredible. It's a testament to you, your desire to have news, information, uh, inspiration, positivity, and focus. And I continue to deliver that for you. Next, if you like this video, which I hope you do, hit the like button. It helps the algorithm so that this video appears higher in the rank before other videos that are simply, you know, <laughs> telling you um, to go buy some two stocks before they split tomorrow. And then let me, uh, let me, uh, let me cut my lawn and show you how I mow my lawn. What does that have to do with stimulus? Um, <laughs> coming up next is FPUC. Join me for that one. It's going to be a big one. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused. Have a great afternoon. Thank you for joining me. And as always, stay with LA.